Hey Cloud Gamers and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. The Stadia Android TV app is finally available, which means you can now play Stadia on your Google TV with Chromecast or any other Android TV device natively. So we thought we'd have a look at the Google TV with Chromecast versus the original Chromecast Ultra playing Stadia on a 4K TV. Starting off then with a cold start from the original profile screen, a couple of things to note here is that the profiles on the Google TV are nowhere near as good as the Chromecast Ultra. If you attached your profile to the Chromecast Ultra, you could pin lock all of the profiles so that only access to individual ones could be enabled at a time. But on the Google TV, you cannot pin lock the main profile. So if you have kids profiles, you can't pin lock the main one, which defeats the object. Cold start then, we have a 30 second advantage with the Google TV with Chromecast initially, and we notice a huge difference on the HDR implementation. I must admit that the Google TV HDR is a lot better than on the Chromecast Ultra. This was quite surprising. Although we do have a bit of time of day difference here on the Chromecast Ultra versus the Google TV in Valhalla, the difference in the HDR is quite noticeable. However, the quality in the actual overall picture is pretty much the same. I would say that any differences here are mainly to do with the stream quality and not the quality of the actual devices themselves. As this is being streamed directly from the servers, there really should not be any difference in the stream quality at all. However, the HDR rendering is quite a lot different and I do prefer that on the Google TV. So if you are looking to replace your Chromecast with a Google TV to also have access to other Android TV apps, then you are going to be in luck. Content creators will also rejoice as you do not need a HDMI splitter to record the Google TV with Chromecast, which means one less device when you're doing recording. Going on to a flat speed test then from the home screen on both of these on Stadia. Ignore the coloration difference on the Google TV side here. I forgot to apply the HDR color profile when I was doing the speed test section. But as you would expect from a standing start on the same menu screen, they are neck and neck. So there is no hardware difference on the load side because it's all streamed from the server. So both loading in at one minute two here. Once again, once we're in game, we see the coloration difference on the HDR. But other than that, everything is just as smooth. I did have the Stadia controller paired for both of these, both running at 5 GHz Wi-Fi on the same internet, one after the other. So they were as close as I could get them. So overall, I'm fairly impressed with the Google TV. The HDR is definitely better. The bonus of having all the extra apps for Android TV is a huge plus. However, if you are using profiles on your original Chromecast Ultra, you are going to be quite disappointed in the profiles on Google TV. Let us know in the comments below if you use any of those features and what your experience so far is with your Google TV with Chromecast, if you have one, or whether you are now going to be looking to switch over. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.